What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of RX Angler. So today is going to be one of those videos where I'm going to hook you up with a easy fishing location slash spot. Now this fishing location that we're going to is only probably going to be best used for a kayak. You can't wade fish, you can bank fish and this is a marsh setting for a kayaker. A lot of you guys have been asking, hey, where can I go fish the marsh in Galveston on my kayak? Well, here you go. I'm going to hook you up with the launch spot maps and coordinations how I always do it right now. Now this spot that we're going to be fishing today is pretty pretty easy to access right off the launch. This is Stingery Marina restaurant as you can see right here. This is where you're going to launch. Once again maps and coordinates provided. Just pause the video, blow up your screen, use that coordinates to help you guys and as always i'm going to try to catch fish today stay tuned hopefully we can get lucky and catch some fish today in the marsh all right guys here we go Hope, hopefully these videos are helping you guys this marsh is right around the corner so easy launch easy accessibility especially for you new paddle driven kayaks not the pedal driven kayaks like the hobie but the paddle kayakers that need a marsh fishing spot we're going to try to catch some fish today hopefully Hopefully we can show you guys some fish that this marsh produces. I've been here many, many times. However, it's been a while since I've been here. And um, see if it, I mean, every time I've come out here, I've at least caught dinkers. Now there are some nice slot reds. I know that can be caught because I have caught them here. This mar marsh is also pretty good when you have a strong south wind. Because you have all this marsh area protecting you. That's why I decided to fish here. So I can be protected by that south wind because we have a pretty high south wind. It might not seem like it, it's because we are protected, but yeah, there's a high south wind. So right here is the opening of the marsh. I am going to go ahead and start fishing here at this channel because this channel leads to the ICW, which is a good in and out, you know, highway system for fish going into this little small marsh. It is skinny though, but uh, we'll still try to cast fear a few times. I'm going to fish it slow first, I'm trying to find a cadence. Right now it's about five feet right here, which is a good drop off going into this marsh. The water level is very low. Like I said, this is an outgoing tide or pretty much the end of an outgoing tide. Just a bit of leftover. It's pretty much slack. Okay, ladies and gents, I tried my best. There was really no bait back there. I did see one flounder jump, but I couldn't get him to commit. Uh, I went deep, deep back in the lakes. Uh, you can get back there, but right now this time of year is probably not the best idea it's probably best when it's warmer months and um, the water is high i've caught redfish here before my friends have caught redfish here before this is a great kayaking marsh fishing spot for you guys and it's no secret it's easy accessible launch uh, but what i'm going to do though is i'm going to try to see if i can um, i guess try to save the day i'm going to go to a cove that's right by the launch and see if I have any luck over there. So we have arrived finally to the mouth of Yates Bayou. Another great fishing spot because of this main entrance to Yates obviously. Fish has been caught here before. Don't really come out here much because number one I just really don't. I honestly don't really like uh, waiting for the ferry. And number two it's, it's, it's quite a long pedal. And there are other spots around closer where to I live. Been coming out here but you know make no mistake this is a nice little fishing spot right here which i encourage you guys to come out it is not an easy pedal or paddle but it is a good protection against the south wind but we do have a weird wind coming hitting us right now but all right well let's just see if we can catch some fish here okay ladies and gents finally got my first fish i apologize my gopro didn't catch it i think it froze you gotta believe me, I just hit a 16 inch trout right here in this area right here. Maps and coordinates right now. You have to fish deep, it's about 10 feet down and that's where he hit it. So the trout are here, I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple more. At least put on video so you guys don't call me a liar. <laughs> There we go. There is a guy. Another trout. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're down there. This one's a little bit smaller. The first one I caught was 16. This is probably about a yeah, 13 incher. 
but nonetheless they are at this bit uh this bayou guys and it's not hard to get to check it out beautiful trout let's see if we can catch a few more okay ladies and gents that's going to be it for me today i just wanted to show you an easy kayaking fishing spot that involved the marsh and a deep channel from the same launch location a very easy place to fish however you're going to put a little bit of miles when you go out to Yates Bayou but that marsh that's right behind me over there that you saw in the beginning of this video it's very easily accessible even with a paddle kayak and if you decide to go way back in the lake like you saw me do be prepared to push pull unless it's in the warmer months and you got more of a higher tide more water in that marsh right now in the winter time it's very very skinny as you saw there was not really any fish there and uh, i apologize i thought i was going to catch some fish but you guys gotta believe me there is fish there i've caught fish there many times my friends have caught fish there many times the yates bayou is usually very active because of that deep channel cut of 10 feet but anyways i hope you guys like this video if you need more fishing spots please please let me know like i said comment below i'd like to hear your thoughts about it and i'll catch you guys on the next one